Hello and welcome to Pixascene. In this video, I'm going to walk you through two processes. First, I will walk you through the process of adding a video to your PDF document using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. Second, I will show you two different ways to display the added video. A few quick notes before we get started. First, I'm using the Windows version of Adobe Acrobat Pro DC, so the view and process might be different for our friends who are using the Mac version of the application. Second, you will need to install Adobe Flash Player on your computer for this to work. I recommend installing the latest version of the Flash Player. Finally, adding a video to your PDF document will increase the size of your PDF document. So keep that in mind. Okay, let us get started. First, go ahead and open your PDF document using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. I've done so here. Now, find the Tools link and click on that. Next, find the Add Rich Media tool and click on it. Now click on the Add Video option. Next, figure out where you want to add the video within your PDF document. Left click and drag a box on that space to create a hotspot for your video. Now don't worry about the size of your box, you can always adjust it. Next, click on the Browse button. Now find a video that you would like to add to your PDF document. Mine is right here. Click on the video to select it. Okay, before I click on the Open button, I want to point out the list of supported video formats here. Make sure that the video you want to add is in one of these formats, otherwise it won't work. Okay, now click on the Open button. Next, let us take a peek at the Advanced Options. To get there, click on the little box next to the Show Advanced Option text right here. Clicking on that will take you into the Advanced Option setting. Here, you can determine how the user will interact with your video. For instance, the first setting, Enabled When, will allow you to determine how you want your video to be activated. The default option is the content is clicked meaning that your video will activate when users click on the video. There are other settings here you could explore. I recommend that you take some time to look through these settings and try out some. You could always change it afterward if you don't like it. For me, I usually leave most settings as default. However, there are two settings that I would like to adjust that you might find helpful too. First is the playback style setting. Here, the default is play content on page. This means that when you click on the video, it plays right on the page. I will show you what it looks like in a bit. The other option is play content in floating window. If you select this option, when you click on your video, a new window will open up on top of your document. This window will contain your video and you can play your video within this window. I will show you what I mean in a little bit. The second setting that I would like to adjust is the poster image setting. This is basically a video thumbnail setting. Here, the default option is retrieve poster from media. I find that when I use this option, the thumbnail is just a play icon, which doesn't look too good to me. I usually like to add my own thumbnail one that I created myself for the video. Let me show you what each setting looks like. Okay, first round. I'm going to go ahead and leave the default playback style setting and the default poster image setting as is and I will show you what your video will look like. I'm going to go ahead and click on the OK button. So here is what it looks like. You see there's this little icon here. There is no thumbnail here and it says click to activate. So to activate your video, you can just go ahead and click on it. And there's your video. It plays within the document. If you want to adjust the video box, for example, if this box is too big or too small, you can do so by clicking on the Select Object tool right here. And then, click, and then go ahead and just hover over your video and make the adjustment like so. Now you can close out of the tool to see what the document looks like with the video in it. Okay, you can do that by clicking on this close button right here. So this is what the document looked like. 
and here's your video and when you click on it there's a player right here and it plays remember in the advanced option setting you can make adjustment to the player too okay round two let's make some adjustment to this video okay to do that I'm gonna go ahead and go to the tool setting right here and then go to add rich media tool I'm gonna go ahead and click on select object double click on my video and here's my advanced option here now for round two so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the playback style and change that to play content in floating window if you happen to know the width and length of your video you can make adjustment here if you don't just leave it as is okay next I'm gonna go ahead and click on the create a poster from file within the poster image setting I'm gonna go ahead and browse and find my thumbnail so this is the thumbnail that I created for this video click on that click on open So my thumbnail is a JPEG. Let me go back a little bit here. Here are the files that support it. Make sure that your thumbnail is in one of these file format. Okay, I'm gonna click on open again. Nope, select, open again. And I'm gonna click on okay. So everything is fine here. Oh, here's the control. So if you want to play around with the video control, you can play here, right? Here are some of the options. Here's the color of the player. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. As you can see, now I have a nice little thumbnail that I can use. And I could adjust my video window, my video size window right here. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to click on it and I'll show you what I mean by the floating window. Oh, I forgot. I will need to close out of this tool for it to work. So close. I'm going to go ahead and click on it to activate. So here's the new window that popped up. Okay. And it's really neat because I can move this baby around. And then if you look in the corner, if you hover it over, you can see this double arrow and you, and you can adjust it. You can adjust the window. I mean the uh, yeah the window to fit your media right and here's the X to close the, the closest window and here's the player so I'm gonna click on it to play so this is another way to display your content which is the video and I think this is really slick that you can do this thank you for visiting and for being part of our community um, if you find a video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more cool videos, tutorials. Um, and if you are looking for a community to join, we are very much welcome to have you be part of our community. As always, um, your comments are welcome and valued. Until next time, take good care and have a good one.